Hi guys, welcome back. Today it's a quick one. I was playing about with the Central 22 and I thought, hmm, why don't we make a quick video so I can show you how I made these butterflies. This idea stemmed by from um, a comment that I had from a lovely lady um, regarding my last slippers done with the 32 machine, 32 pin that they had the bow, so the version number two. And um, she mentioned that it looked like a butterfly. So I thought, okay, we can do that. And here you have it. Now, one, I turned into a, um, I just add a wee elastic to use for ponytails, but you can use this for whatever, decoration, ponytails, brooches, you name it. I mean, as usual, guys, I like to give you an idea and then it's, up to you how you wanna use it but I just thought they were darn cute easy to whip up and something different so what you're gonna need is obviously yarn I'm using DK yarn I have a bunch here that I'm gonna choose from nothing special nothing nothing fancy just bright colors because I mean if you want to make a butterfly you want you want it to make Something that's bright, colorful, and fun, and something like that. So pick whatever yarn you have. You don't need much. But what I've used to make the body and the wee, how you call them, antennas, is this. This, I, I had this in my stash. God knows why I bought it in the first place. It's been there for not years. This is waxed cotton thread I believe it's probably a couple of millimeters thick um, and you can find them in Amazon it's a you usually find them in a pack of multicolored ones but I believe you can even find just the black one or whatever that I had that already in my stash so I thought I used that and it works well because obviously you can leave these wee tails and they stay straight and they look like wee antennas Something that if you were to use yarn, it would just fall flat. I also tried to use uh, this. These are um, pipe cleaners. Although this is not really a good quality one, but I tried this and it doesn't really... I, I don't know, I mean, I just didn't like the, the finished look. So, again, options, guys, options. So, let's get cranking. What you will need, as I said, is DK yarn. Uh, I believe it will work even with iron yarn, so whatever yarn you have uh, at hand. This project will require waste yarn, and it will require your 22-pin needle machine. So let's start whipping up the first piece because the butterflies are made by two tubes, basically. So we're going to just make a simple one. And you start casting on as usual. So you you loop around, you, you locate your first pin needle. I like to think of my first needle as the one that is a different color from the rest, despite if on the machine is marked as first or last. I don't look at that. So I loop my yarn around the first needle and then back on the second, front on the third, and so on. It's back and front, back and front, alternating pegs, making sure that I'm not skipping anything and making sure that I'm finishing at the back of my last before I start my round again. Now that I have my round, I keep cranking. And in my case, I'll crank until I finish the, the yarn that I have as a waste yarn. Uh, if you're cranking straight out of a ball, do at least five rows. But if you can stretch it to seven, ten, it's better. But at least give yourself five rows. Okay. 
always remember when you're doing waist yarn, so you're planning to close flat the tube, to always finish at the same spot where you're going to start. So I'm going to now start again from my pin number one, and I'm going to use this bright coral yarn pink. As I said, I just wanted something nice and bright. Put my yarn exactly in the same spot where my waist yarn ended. Feed it through the yarn feeder. Put it into the tightest um, tension. And reset your counter. Okay. And what we're going to do now is crank 15 rows. have arrived at my last one and I take back my waist yarn, feed it between the last and my first and start cranking and in this case you know, as I'm not feeding directly out of a ball I'll just crank until I finish all my waist yarn on my disposal and the project will just fall off from the machine. As soon as I'm going to recycle the waste yarn, I'm going to then finish off this wee tube and then get my machine back and start the second part of the, the project. So as you all know by now, closing flat, we are just braiding the ends together. So what you need to do is have your tail, tails on your left, you start from your right. You count half the tube, so it's a 22, you have 11 stitches to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you start alternating and braiding one another. So pick up your first stitch closer to you, then you pick up the stitch right above and you feed it through then you grab the stitch nearest to you and you feed it through then you grab the stitch above and you feed it through and you keep going alternating one from the bottom one from the top the bottom being the side that's closest to you the top being the one that's further away from you take your time I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. You can use whatever you're comfortable with, bigger, smaller. 
this is a medium size and it's more comfortable for me to use but it doesn't really matter always make sure that you're not missing any stitches and there is one here hiding there you go okay i'll put this like this i'm not gonna tie it in a knot right away because i want to see if by any chance i missed anything and if I did, then we can easily pick it back up. So just unravel your waist yarn. Let me tighten everything in a knot. Have a look. No, I don't think I missed anything, so let's pull through the yarn and tighten the knot. And here you go, this one side done. Same thing you're gonna do on the other side. So just repeat the process. You're folding the edges like this so you can actually see better your stitches. You count the 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11. Try to be as straight as possible. Again, let's secure the yarn without actually tightening a knot so we can check that we haven't missed anything. seems to be all good and here you have it so this is one you can already um, hide the tails because we will not be needing them Okay. 
and this is one part done. Now, once again, grab your machine, grab your waste yarn, back to needle number one, cast on, This one. Okay, again, DK yarn, nothing special. You can even use the same color for both pieces. I just like to have a little bit of contrast so you can properly see the butterfly shape, but up to you. Make sure that you reset your counter. And we are cranking 22 rows. These are good wee projects if you have any um, leftover yarn, maybe from a project that you're not planning to actually mm, buy more of it. Once again, grab your waist yarn. And if you're using uh, already a wee ball dedicated for it, just crank away until the project falls off. Same as before, we need to close flat the ends. Get a wee tug. You can't. And you braid. And hide your tails.
Okay, now that you have the two pieces um, ready, we have these two pieces and what you're going to do is you grab the small one and you have the stitches going vertically. The bigger one, it will have the stitches going horizontally. This just gives, to me, the right proportion once you start putting it together. But, I mean, it's up to you. You can even do it the other way around. But this is slightly... How can I say? So, th this is looking at it with the sides that we close together. So, it's, it's slightly taller than wider. So, it's whichever way you want it. It's ever so slightly, but I just feel that it comes out better like this. But again, play with it and do whatever you feel that you want to do with it. But what we're going to do now is we're going to grab some yarn. Any color that you have already used within the project, it's fine. I'm going to just grab this pale pink. You're going to thread it through the needle. Then you tie a knot at the very end. Actually, tie a couple of knot at the very end. So that you create like a stopper. You will see in a moment why. Okay. You can cut this tail almost to the edge. So this is what you have at the moment, your yarn right in the middle and the two tails are tied together in a knot. Now, we said this goes vertically, this goes horizontally, think about it as a T. You grab the small part and you fold it in half still with the stitches going vertically so you find your middle and you just thread through here it doesn't have to be super precise but it gives you a good um, point to start and then you just thread in and out Like if you were, well, like if we need to cinch this together. So you're basically creating like a, a drawstring sti stitch. Okay. Now you get the bigger piece with the stitches going horizontally and you fold it in half. And again, this will allow you to more or less eyeball the, the center. And again, you need to go in and out because you need to cinch in, you need cinch in this piece too. Try to be tight as possible with your stitching and try to position the small part on top of the big one. Then you're going back in but the way I'm doing it is I'm going back in, in and out this front piece here, this, this section here of the bigger piece and then I'm going just straight in at the back of the smaller piece. I'm not cinching that again. And the reason being is I need to push the middle of this part as close as possible to the pink. I'm hoping I'm making sense. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is turn your project on its back. So you're looking at the back of the project. And still with your needle, you're going back in. And now you're going straight 
through the back of the pink one, the light pink one. Spin it again, you're back on the top, and now you just need to wrap it a couple of times. Just a couple, doesn't need to be that much. This is just to secure the shape in place. Now you just sew it on the back. We are happy enough. I'm just going to do one knot just to secure this in place. And then you can cut the yarn. I will still leave a tail, depending on what you want to do. If you already know what you're going to do with this, obviously you, you will just use as much yarn that you need. Let's say that you need to tie um, a hair thingies and a hair uh, um, an elastic for your hair then you know you don't really need that much but you will still um, leave yourself a tail if not if you're just uh, doing it for the moment and then for a future project whatever that might is I will still leave something that will allow you to sew this to whatever and I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't take anything to add new yarn for whatever other project. But I like to leave a little bit of a tail in the meantime that I don't know exactly uh, what's going to be the use of this. So we are almost done. Now you need to grab your waxed um, thread. Again, I'm guesstimating here. I'm not too sure how much I'm eyeballing it. Um, let's see, it's going around my four fingers four times, so that will, that will be more than enough. And the way you're going to do it is this, so you put it, you put your string on the top and you hold it with your thumb, leaving a little bit of a tail hanging. Then you start looping around doesn't need to be super tight but I mean not even super loose a couple of times I mean, do it until it looks good to you. I mean, for me, this looks good, good enough. So I don't need to wrap it more. And the way it's going to turn out is you're having this tail that was your starting tail at the top. And you're going to end with the string at the back. That will allow you to do a couple of knots. And try to put your knot slightly on the top here because once you do the second one it almost looks like the wee head of a butterfly okay and now you just need to cut off the antenna at the length that you see fit I think that's just still too long there you go. Adjust it. Make sure that the knots are tight. This is a, a thread that will unravel if it's not tight enough. And here you have it. And just manipulate it 
whichever way you want it. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. I hope you will do some of your own and share with you share with me on social media what you've done. Thank you for watching and please if you haven't done so subscribe, like, share. It will help my channel a ton to grow. It's growing steadily so far, so a big thank you for all of you that uh, has joined my channel and we're becoming friends, so thank you. And that's it. Have a good rest of the day and happy knitting. Bye.